Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Secretary Neri, for your introduction. At binabati rin natin ang congressman sa distrito kung nasaan ang Iris at kung nasaan ang Malacanang, si Congressman Benny Abante. Ang ating host, President Dr. Eduardo Cailio. Congratulations. Si Mona Valisno, si Nona Rica Fort, na ang daming ginawang trabaho para dito. Ang ating mga kaibigan sa DBP, Chair Pat Panto Tomas. Our uh, members of the board, nakita ko sila lahat. At saka ang Presidente, si Ray David. At paligayang pati rin sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral, mga guro, mga administrator. Narito kayo at alam ko lahat kayo ay busy busy sa pagsisimula ng klase sa darating na linggo. Today we launch the second of the major components of the fruits to be made available this year by our lower than program budget deficit, which can be attributed to VAT reforms. Congressman Abante, pwede mong i-congratulate ang iyong sarili at makasama mo dahil ito mga binigay natin hindi mangyayari kung wala tayong value-added tax. Thank you. From January to April, 4 billion pesos was generated from the value-added tax on oil products. And during the last cabinet meeting, 2 billion pesos was allocated to provide cash transfers to the 4 million poorest of the poor and those using up to 100 kilowatt electricity consumption. That was our first program, yung katas ng VAT, pantawid kuryente. Now, this is the second program. The cabinet also approved the amount that Mona mentioned. I mean, uh, that Nona mentioned, Bona and Nona, that Nona mentioned, 1 billion pesos to provide interest-free loans and scholarships to poor students. <laughs> Gaya ng sabi ni Nona, half a billion for the loans, half a billion for the scholarships. Ito ang tawag natin Student Assistance Fund for Education or SAFE, S-A-F-E. Binabati natin yung mga estudyanteng tumanggap ng pautang sa matrikula mula sa ating bagong SAFE. Dahil sa SAFE, may programang pahiram na hindi lalampas mo na sa 8,000 pesos bawat semester na pambayad sa tuition, libro, at iba bang pangangailangan. Aside from the 1 billion that we've set aside, from our VAT, eto nga kaya tawag natin ito, kung yung isa, yung 2 billion, ay katas ng VAT, pantawid kuryente, etong safe naman ay katas ng VAT, pantawid pag-aaral. And aside from the 1 billion, Aside from the one billion for the from the VAT, we have also from the Development Bank of the Philippines advocating quality education for poor but intelligent students. Yun ang kaibahan, kasi yung VAT nat yung yung ano yung katas ng VAT, kahit na hindi kayo masyadong matalino, basta pumapasa kayo okay. Pero itong DVP kailangan matalino kayo. Uh, through its 10-year, 1 billion peso program also. <laughs> to pay for the tuition and other fees of college students from poor families. DBP is opening a wide window of opportunity for 
1,000 bright high school students who pass the program's academic and other requirements. Nandito yata, the first 125, to our first 125 who comprise the first batch of DBP scholarship, and I understand you will take up nursing in the bank's partner schools. Good luck to all of you. Congratulations na kaagad. Mona talked about our meeting with the SUCs a couple of weeks ago. So I would like to tie that up with what we're doing today. And I'm glad that Mon, not, not Nona, Nona, Nona uh, anticipated what I would want. And she made the announcement. But I just want to repeat. For those in the North Luzon Agribusiness Quadrangle and Agribusiness Mindanao, indeed the focus should be on student loans and scholarships in agricultural courses. And because we're talking here about poverty, they're the ones who bear the biggest brunt of the inc increasing price of fuel and power. There should be a special quota for the 10 poorest provinces in the country. Namely, Tawi-Tawi, especially for the fisheries courses, of the Tawi-Tawi College of Technology and Oceanography, Sambuanga del Norte, including their access not only to the state college in Sambuanga del Norte, but also to the West Mindanao State University. Maguindanao, including their access not only to the state college in Mindanao, but also in education in the good private schools in the vicinity like Notre Dame. Apayao and Abra, not only access to their own state college, but also access to the education in the private colleges and universities of Baguio City. Dinagat Islands, Lanao del Sur, especially for agriculture education, at the Mindanao State University. Northern Samar, Masbate, which I understand has the smallest state college in the whole country, but with a scholarship, they can have more students, can become more viable. And Misamis Occidental, which is a very, very good state college. There should also be a quota for those provinces which do not belong to the 10 poorest, but are part of the 10 most food poor provinces, namely Agusan del Sur, Kalinga, and Surigao del Sur, especially for agriculture because we want them to produce more food. And in the case of Surigao del Sur, especially for agriculture and minerals courses at the Surigao del Sur State Polytechnic College. We're doing this because everyone in this nation, public and private, has an obligation to meet the needs of the nation on education, food security, and vital services like energy. Because we are distributing katas ng bat na binabayaran ng mga nagkonsumo, Nang langis at kuryente, 80% of whom are well off, eh pag-usapan nga natin ang enerhiya at ang pamalaan, mga opisina ng pamalaan, including SOOKS. Starting today, oh, including DBP, 